Welcome to your virtual MSK fellowship. In today's video I will show you my newest project which is the virtual MSK fellowship course which basically is a chance for everybody that always wanted to do a MSK fellowship but never really got the chance or the time to go somewhere to do a proper fellowship. Now you can do this online. So let me give you a brief overview over my virtual MSK fellowship course. The first part of the course is the nine modules of structured content where each module contains a different topic or joint where I talk about in video format about different topics. Then the second part is you actually have to report original DICOM cases and not just think about it, actually write the report and submit it on the platform. Then you get a video solution and my report for comparison back. Then the third part is the live Q&A sessions and these take part twice every week at different times and during the live Q&A sessions the fellows can upload their own cases and ask questions about them. We will see that uh, here in a second, it's really great. And then the last part is we have our community where we help each other out, get to know um, different MSK people from all over the world, it's kind of like a Facebook group but without the destruction of Facebook. So that's basically how it's set out to be. But now let's jump right in here into the first part, which is the actual course or the video course itself. So you can see here, it says every week you get access to another module and it's a total of nine weeks. Now the course comes without a time limit. It's a lifetime access. So it doesn't matter if you need more than one week to go through one week. So, well, I might just call it modules instead of weeks. Let's, let's jump right in. I just want to show you this here quickly. So this is the platform, which you now cannot really see very well. Let me just correct this here. Okay, so I just have to fix it. Okay, so you can see here, this is the video and let's go to shoulder week, for example. So there is a, a video 40 minutes about shoulder approach where I kind of like show stuff, etc., etc. And it's really great. Let's jump right to the case. If you go through this, you can mark it as complete and then it kind of like goes to the next. You see what we cover. You get all the links and the literature and, the, you know, videos on my YouTube channel when I have something about that topic already or I think it's important. So it's all in here, right? One hour about shoulder anatomy. So this is the first part of the course. Now, the second part that I already mentioned is the cases that you have to report. And let's just pick any case here, case number two. And you can see within the platform, you don't have to switch somewhere else. We have the integrated DICOM viewer. So you can change the layout to two by two or two sessions here and you just load the studies in. And then you can scroll through the case and you can actually report this case now. Either you type it or you just use voice recognition, whatever you want to do. You can zoom and you can even like window and such. So it's really like a fully fledged DICOM viewer. This is the great thing. You actually have to submit the report. And this can either be English or German, so I can have a look at it. And also then once you submit the report, you get access to the solution. And you can see here, I talk about this case. I do a like a fully fledged analysis of the case and an explanation. And then here, there is my report for the specific case as well. Let me just first talk about the community. So this is our community platform. And I mentioned this is kind of like Facebook without Facebook. It's a private group where only uh, fellows have access. And you can see currently we are 19 people here. Uh, it's just me online at the moment. It's, it's late at night, so that's probably normal. And we have people from all over the world, so from Japan, Thailand, Ecuador, the UK, Germany, Ukraine, uh, so really, United States, so basically from everywhere. Now, why do we have this platform in the first place? Basically, we are a little community that helps each other out. We have the, sh the same passion about the topic. So this is a, a way for us to kind of like, you know, get to know each other. There are different categories here. And uh, obviously there is not much happening yet because I just launched the course uh, two, week oh, two weeks ago, last week actually. So, um, so it's a great platform and I can show you here quite quickly why. So this is another thing you can see. We have these live Q&A sessions that I talked about um, currently at Monday and at, on Monday and Tuesday. Now these times are flexible. They will change. Certainly the Tuesday session will change to later in the week. So I really need to accommodate everybody from different time zones and we do frequent doodle surveys so that most people get the chance to participate in one of these sessions. And I'm very well aware that 
Some people might not be able to attend one of these sessions due to other commitments, but that's not the problem because I do actually record all of these sessions and this is how it goes. So you go to classroom here and you can see, oh, that's me. We have a archive here where I archive all the recordings of the Q&A sessions. So this is really amazing. So you can see here from maybe this one was the last from Tuesday. We can see a shortly a little bit more than one hour where we discussed about questions that people have. And all the time you can see here the questions that we uh, talked about. So 27 year old patient with enchondroma, chronic shoulder pain, and there was some atrophy in the teres minor and kind of like there was a question also about the subscapularis and so on and so on. Then we have the link and you can actually now go to this case here on Collective Minds. So we can maybe just quickly open this one here. You go here. And then you are straight here with the case. You can open the case, go through the question maybe on your own and then watch our discussion on the video. I'm not sure if you can hear this. So I'm just talking about the prevalence of this finding and so on and so on. So basically you can go through these Q&A sessions on demand whenever you have time, which is really neat, I think. You can go through the questions, you can try to answer them on your own. And the, probably the best thing about this stuff and the Q&A sessions are, this is independent from the nine modules or nine weeks. So you don't have to talk about certain topics. You can really ask anything. And this is ongoing, so there is no end to this. So the Q&A sessions are really like something I do all year around now, uh, all next year and the year after that, as long as I can. So ultimately there will be this massive archive of questions here and you can go through it all the time on your own or you just participate live, which is also very easy to do. And then the best thing about it is really, if you are now maybe down the line you join and you kind of like are interested maybe or you struggle with let's say plantar or maybe let's say uh, yeah plantar plate you just type it in here and you can see no results in the community however in the classroom there is one result here and in the very first QA sessions there was a plantar plate tier question so you go there and then you can see okay plantar plate yes or no and then you can watch the session where I talk about plantar plate or no in one specific case. You can also maybe look for sunk if that's something you're interested in. And now you can see in Q&A session four, there was a question about subchondral insufficiency fracture or sunk. And then we go through the case there. So let's go quickly here. So you can see, where is it? Uh, so here, woman, knee pain, Sif or song and there's the link to the case so you can go through the case and then watch me talk about it well just well it's not just me talking about it but actually i'm having a discussion with the fellow he asked the question and then i kind of like answers the answer the question and he asks back and it's kind of like a little one-on-one -on -one session for a couple of minutes and then i try to accommodate as many different people here that are posting questions yeah that's basically how the course is set out to be and if you want to learn more or if you're actually interested in enrolling this course you're probably your first question is about price so that's what people always ask me when i talk about this and i'm not going to tell you the price um well let, let me just put it this way it's not cheap but it's really the course is there to increase your confidence and speed in msk radiology and it really comes down to this lifelong learning and this environment with all these stuff that you get here so there is a huge value you get here so uh, the process how to enroll basically is the following you can contact me either on let's say uh, linkedin or you just write me an email or you go over to my uh, other homepage, which is actin.org i can quickly show you here then basically what you can do is you can well you can watch here a free video here you just have to type in some email address well put please put your own email address in not just any email address then you get to watch a 19 minute video i think it's a good video which highlights why people struggle with msk and it also gives you some tips and tricks how to improve already here on this video for free so you can watch this and then um, you can fill out an application after you schedule the call so basically here you can just schedule a call with me so you can see there are the available times here 
and basically you just book this call with me and once you did that then let me just go there you have to fill in a application so i really get a feeling of who you are what your current position is and so on and so on and based on this application i make also a decision whether i really proceed with the call because sometimes people are still like very early in their training and the course is not for them right so that's maybe something i should talk also about so if you are a resident this course is probably not for you the course is really aimed at either current fellows or consultants at any level that just want to gain confidence in msk radiology or just go to the next level if you're a resident you can watch youtube videos you can read books it's perfectly fine you will still learn a lot it's not for you so it's really more for the intermediate and advanced people here already so you go through this and basically you just book the session in and yeah and during the strategy session what this is for basically we have a chat we can do this on whatsapp or we do this on google meet in a video call um, i kind of like want to learn more about your situation i want to see how basically what your pain point is why you struggle what your confidence is and what your expectations is or expectation is also from the course and if it sounds like it's a good fit and i can actually help you we then go through the details that i showed you here already a little bit and then basically we can have a chat whether you want to do it or not so this is basically how it's set out to be but what i really try to do is to select people that i think will be successful with learning show high dedication and motivation and really complete the course what i don't want is people that just kind of buy the course and then don't do the work and are not getting any result because they don't do the work right no surprise there so i don't want that i really want to have people who really get better and also this is very motivating for all the other fellows in the group so if that's something that you uh, are considering if that's something you might like i highly recommend it i think it's probably like really that's a great idea and i'm highly highly motivated and really really excited to to do this and i enjoy these q a sessions very much uh, so yeah that's it basically um pop me a message jump over to my other homepage here and i see you soon hopefully